There is currently a 75% unemployment crisis in the autism community. Most of them have social deficits or communication challenges. One of my clients would actually, if you asked them a question, just freeze and sit there and stare at you. Not going to get them a job. It's very challenging. Mainly uh, the stereotypes are that most people with autism like to work on computers. Computer-based jobs where they're doing data research or they're doing game development or they're doing financial. A lot of people I have supported have gotten jobs in the financial district analyzing data for the financial institutions. Great. But 90% of my clients are creative builders. So when you look at a creative builder, they're not going to be sitting behind a computer all day. They don't want to sit at a desk. They want a job where they're active, where they're moving, where they're engaged. And when you have those people and all the supports out there are putting autistic people, pigeonholing them into tech jobs, it doesn't work for these people. It's not successful. Simultaneously in Halton, the advanced manufacturing sector currently has a 25% talent gap. And we just went to the Advanced Manufacturing and Design Show where NGen clearly demonstrated that by 2030 there's going to be a 60,000 person shortfall for the advanced manufacturing community that the autism community could help to fill. And I had started working with the Work-Based Learning Consortium, um, which is a local organization, a Southern Ontario organization, that provide experiential learning opportunities uh, to gain skills and get into advanced manufacturing roles. So I approached Wayne Lamont, who is one of the directors of the company, and said, I've got this idea. Uh, your learning model would be amazing for the autism community because it encompasses all three, three and a half learning styles, right? So it's auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. And I think there's something here. So we developed that plan out and we've come up with an autism and advanced manufacturing career exploration program. And it's an opportunity for autistic individuals to learn about roles in advanced manufacturing, specifically CNC machinist, CNC programmer, CNC operator, and mold maintenance technician. The program's taking applicants who are 16 years or older who have or are working toward their high school diploma. There's no age limit to participating in this program and what happens is they go through an information session, they then go into a deeper dive onto the individual roles that we're talking about. We are doing some personality assessments with folks that are specific to employment to help fine-tune career goals and to fine-tune any challenges that might show up in the workplace. They get time with Paulette which is an hour to two hours with an autism employment specialist which based on our previous conversation hard to get, very valuable. And the people that we're getting through the assessments we're doing are coming out as builders and as creative thinkers. So they want those jobs where you're actually physically active, engaged in making something. And when you're looking at the advanced manufacturer jobs that Elizabeth talked about, they're all making something and you're not sitting behind a desk for eight hours a day. And then what we're looking to do is connect with employers in advanced manufacturing across Halton Region. And at the end of this program, so it'll be uh, June, we'll be having a face-to-face -face networking session. Another big part of the program is educating employers to dispel stereotypes of people who have autism. Some of the employers that, that we've contacted and we've talked to talk about uh, they're worried about the risk of having people come into the workplace that are autistic because there's, it's a dangerous workplace, right? Uh, what I know from working for, with people with autism for many, many years is that if you give them a set of directions on what the job is and you have it written down for them to follow, they will follow it. And the statistics are that people who have, are disabled or on the spectrum have a lower accident rate on the job than neurotypical people. Not only do they have a lower accident rate, current employers report they do quality work. They like having people that in their workplace that are focused on building and, and making things. And when you have an autistic person who's focused on something they like, their attention to detail and getting the job done accurately is amazing. And when you're looking at CNC operator, you have to be accurate in your work. So it's the skill set that we're matching. We're matching the skill set to the job. For more information on the program, go to spirocareerscanada.ca. For Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.